specialness of today. A quarter past, I'm running late. Well, that was nice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You want to do it again? No, 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 right now. Okay. I just want to marinate in this for a while. You do know this is just casual, right? This could be yeah, of course. Okay. Good, because I don't want you freaking out of me catching feelings and shit. Like, I'm not into girls. I just like my pussy licked. And you like to lick it. That's our dynamic, no more, no less. Like, I just want you to get it through your head right yeah, now. That's all. Understood. No feelings whatsoever. Okay. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not gay either, you know, this is, it's fun. Okay, whatever, look, you don't have to hide the fact that you're gay, I don't care. I'm not. Look, you could do whatever you want, I just don't want you falling in love with me, that's all. Look, I don't have patience for that type of bullshit, man or woman. Okay. Nikki, like, you think I'm gay? Why well, aren't you? Well, you know, I don't know. Well, anyone that loves pussy as much as you do has gotta be oh, gay. I like guys too. Really? Yeah. When was the last time you were the guy? <laughs> I don't know, uh, high school. Okay, did yeah. you like it? That's what I thought. Look, who cares, okay? You like pussy, I like dick, it's no big deal. Whoa, whoa, like, do you have to be so crude about it? What's that? <clears throat> I mean, like, I don't know, you can be, you can be really abrasive sometimes, you know, that's all. Well, no, that's the way I talk. Like, if you don't like it, too fucking bad, okay? I'm blunt, I call it as I see it. Really? Yeah. You're an aspiring rug muncher who makes me come. Wow. Well, I'm a raging bitch who loves the cock. That's the reality of the situation. Look, the only reason I let you go down on me is because it's been a little slow around the dorms lately. And, well, frankly, I'm a little bored with the selection of the available fox sticks around here, okay? Oh, Jesus, Kat, please, please do not get emotional on me, okay? I'm yes, you are. I am a cunt, and you should know that, okay? You're my fucking roommate, for Christ's sake. Have you ever seen me be nice to anyone? No, no, I guess not. Okay, exactly. It's just that, like, you're so different when we're fooling around, you know? Well, yeah, I mean, that's because you're getting me off. Oh, my God, like... What? Maybe it's the only time I'm able to surprise my, my fucking bitch in this long enough to appear like a decent human being. But look, just in case I haven't made it clear to you, Kat, I'm not. All right, okay. So what's it taste like anyway? What? Pussy? I don't know. Seriously, I wanna know. Well. What? You wanna know? Oh, come on, I don't wanna know that bad, okay? I'm just curious as all. Oh. I don't know, I, I, it tastes good. I like it. Oh, really? I know you like it, okay? I just, I mean, like, what does it taste like? Look, does it taste like chicken? Does it taste like potatoes? I mean, does it taste like tuna? Don't, oh, I can't believe it. 
No, but you know it, it smells it, like tuna. No, it depends. Okay, it, it it depends. It's always a little different, and and I guess it's a little salty. And everybody's unique. What do I taste like? What? No. You ask, Nikki. Uh, I know, but I just. I just, I mean, like, I would just assume it's nasty, so. Why? It's a moist cavity between your legs, cat. A moist cavity. I've... It is, okay? And it sometimes gets sweaty, so it sometimes smell. It's just, it's just a little gross. No, it's not. You definitely, I mean, you want it clean. You honestly want to know what you taste like? Well, I asked, didn't I? No, I was but that was so fucking hot. Yeah? Yeah. I almost made me want to go down on you. Really? Almost. You do know you're gay, right? Yeah. Is that the first time you've ever said that? What, that I'm gay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, cool, my honor. Cat, I'm serious, okay? Like you're being honest with yourself about who you are. I don't know. Maybe a little bit of me's rubbing off on you. Oh, God forbid. Well, look, as fucked up as I may be, I must have some redeeming qualities, right? Yeah, you definitely have a fear. You are a slut. I can deal with that, okay? Just do me a favor, like, don't repeat this conversation, okay? Okay. Okay. As long as you don't tell anybody they give me steady orgasms. Do you? So, I, what, you don't want anyone to know? No, no, it's not that. It's just, like, I want to do it on my own timeline, you know? And besides, it's nobody's business. Eventually, I am going to come out. Do your parents know? Oh, fuck no. They would shit a solid gold brick if they would find out. Listen to you, Miss Potty Mouth. <laughs> oh, well, it must be sexually contracted. Oh, man, maybe. <laughs> but, okay, I mean, listen, Cap... What are they gonna do when they find out? Oh, first they'll probably disown me. Then after a while of not speaking to me, they'll act like they're doing me a favor by having me explain to them exactly why I'm making the decision to be gay. Oh my God, that is just so fucked up. Can you tell me about it? So were you always like this? Ever since I can remember. I used to beg my mom to have my friends stay over almost every single night just so I can sleep next to them. It's a little creepy. It was all innocent. It wasn't a sexual thing until high school. That's when I got my first dose of another girl. I was hooked. What was her name? Elizabeth Greenberg. Was she hot? And she was cute, but really, really sexy. You know, like those type of people that just ooze sexuality. Johnny Wilcox, eighth grade. Jerked him off in the bathroom during a pep rally. So you know. Anyway, she caught me staring at her in class one day and came up to me after school. She asks me if I want to come over to her house and hit up her parents' whiskey. I didn't come home from work till really late. And they had a fully stocked bar. So I go there, and we start drinking shots. Now, she's one of those bad girls that sort of everyone in school kind of knows about, but she still manages to hide it, you know? Regardless, every guy wants her. They practically drool when she walks by. 
And there's stories about her with this guy and that, but you never know what's true or what just what's just like plain high school gossip. And the next thing I know, we're in her room making out on her bed. It was all a little fuzzy because of the whiskey. But for the most part, like, I remember as if it was yesterday. She stopped kissing me and smiled. And I smiled back, but I was so fucking nervous. She's so just gentle, you know? She strokes my hair out of my face and gives me a nice wet kiss. And then she gets up and takes off all her clothes. And she's so beautiful. Perfect C cups, tiny waist, voluptuous ass, like legs that never quit. Fuck, she was so beautiful. I, I couldn't stop staring at her. She then lays on top of me and starts taking off my clothes piece by piece. That sounds like such a letter to penthouse. How would you know? I used to steal them from my dad to click my mouse. It's okay, whatever, just keep going. Is this turning you on? I don't know. Maybe if I can continue. So she takes off all my clothes and starts kissing my body and starts from the top gradually working down. She was so fucking gentle, you know? And then she puts her head between my legs and starts eating me out. And I know that she's definitely done this before. She knows exactly what to do. I mean, she's a fucking pro. And she keeps going and going and going. I never came the way I did that day. It was like an explosion. Like 16 years of sexual tension and frustration just set loose upon the world. After I was done trembling, she works her way back up to my face and starts making out with me again. I can taste my juices. And I know, I know it sounds gross, but I fucking loved it. We keep making out, and eventually I go down on her, and she was so fucking cool, guiding me where to go, what to do. She was just perfect. So what happened to the two of you? Did you guys continue to see each other? I see her in school the next day. And she ignores me. Never says a word to me again. Doesn't even acknowledge my existence. But still, it was the best sexual experience I ever had. Can I tell you a secret? Yeah. That story just made me so fucking wet.